But it's really foggy this morning out there. It's really interesting. I made a old man. I said, tell me your story. He took out a old pen. something for me Then he kept walking on down the road I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the GoPro but it's quite eerie when as you're sailing rocks just appear out of the fog so like I don't know whether it's going to pick it up but it's like over there Actually we've got um, the radar on and stuff uh, on this route we're just heading straight south along the coast somewhere behind us over there is sailing Wamba keep seeing them on the radar but they haven't they haven't come into uh into visibility yet yeah what a wicked like eerie like well, we're not sailing this is a motor but so eerie like with a fog uh, we're technically in portugal now so we're actually going to have to put our Portuguese um, courtesy flag up, I think. But that's so thankful right now that we've got a radar because it's been uh, showing us where all the lobster pots are and any boats. So really, really, really happy with, that we've got that now. <laughs> Jade's just uh, polishing up on some quick fr Portuguese phrases. Um, trying to learn how to say thank you. Trying to learn how to say thank you and just like, you know, because we don't want to be them guys. And we're about to go up to check in and we think it's the immigration office as well where we're going. Um, so we're going to do that now. We're going to take all our documents and we'll tell you kind of how easy or hard it's been. Coming into this marina was a little bit tricky not because yeah, it's quite narrow very small yeah it's 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 a small narrow and then yeah. you don't know where you're going so we'd already passed the um the pontoon that we were going on so we had to do a three-point turn in a very tight space it was impressive uh i i felt you know it was, it was impressive it was quite impressive we're pretty sure the guy actually even said six skills yes the guy definitely 100 percent said six skills yeah we did that but then ali came in after us and he's actually got to do a med mooring is that right it looks it looks like it, it. looks like a yeah. med mooring now we've never done a med mooring before so it looked terrifying it though. looked it didn't look gracious sorry ali but it didn't look gracious i kind of felt for him because he, he thought he was going onto a finger pontoon he was not set up for going on to med mooring but we're, we're here anyway so let's head on up to the office there's Wamba, and they look like they're just uh, straightening stuff up. <laughs> it's going too far across, he's saying. They'll sort it out. These are good guys, they know what they're doing. Or at least I feel like they might know what they're doing more than we do. All sorted, again, that was very simple. Uh, much like Spain, literally gave our passport. Um, and just ships um, information. Yep. That was it. And that was it, we were in. We just paid, she asked how many nights. Uh, I think we're just staying here for a night. And yeah, that is literally it. We are just chilling here for a night. We're gonna have a shower. Um, might have a little wonder, but not too far. Yeah, I think we'll have a little Really, really tired to be fair. Um, and then yeah, see, that's, that's it really. Yep. There was literally no talk of COVID. No, again, nothing COVID. No vaccination stuff. No. 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 Was, did they even ask for insurance? No. Didn't ask for insurance. So it's literally just ships register, and passports. passports. That's it. 
Yeah, so it's costing, uh, I think, like 25 euros. Yeah, it's like just under 25 euro for a 8.5 meter boat. Yes. Uh, this is our first time in a marina since uh, we left Corunia. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. It's weird, but um, yeah, we there's nowhere to anchor here. One yeah. night, 25 euros. We're gonna fill up with water. Have We're gonna get everything sorted. <laughs> so we are currently. We're on the hunt for camping gas. <laughs> On the hunt for the camping gas. Been to a shop that did not sell it. First, yeah, first place, no luck. We're gonna have a little look elsewhere, but this is so pretty. Yeah, the, the literally the little streets are wicked. So let's give you a little taste. had a shower feeling amazing how good was that that shower was it was good it was good that's our first shower since La Coruña yeah our first shower since La Coruña a couple of weeks ago I don't even know anymore yeah about that about a couple of weeks ago so we've just been washing in the sea um, and with our fresh water so it's a really good good shower uh, we still have no gas thankfully the go sun we've just managed to cook some food before the sun's gone down so Gosun fajitas is what we're having. Mmm. Mmm. We've just left the marina. Yeah. Short but sweet visit. It was very short. Um, only one night, but it was still really, really nice. Um, now we're moving on to near Porto. But Bryn just absolutely smashed the uh, leaving of the marina, didn't you? Reversed out. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. My, my manoeuvres, my manoeuvres are uh, six skills, as the guy here said. <laughs> they're getting, they're getting all right. Yeah. They're getting all right. I'm getting used to what it is. I'm getting used to talisman and how she handles. Yeah, he's smashing it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and get the lines and fenders in, and we are on the road again. On the water again. It might be a day of motoring. We're not sure yet. There's a chance we can sail, but um, the winds are like ten knots. If we're lucky. If we can sail, we'll be sailing. If we can sail, we will sail. If not, unfortunately. There's some quite um, crazy weather coming in. So. Tomorrow there is three to four, is it three metre swells? Three metre swells tomorrow. Whereas today there is half a metre to a metre. Yeah, so. so we thought we'd sacrifice a day of sailing to be safe. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Yep. Let's go. I'm ready. Oh my god, that's awesome. So it's super calm conditions, which is really nice. Dead flat. Dead flat, glassy water. Glassy water. But there are so many fishing parts. So, so many, like everywhere you look. It's probably Hundreds. not going to pick up on here, but yeah, like, a lot more than we were expecting. But it's not too bad. Like obviously there's really good visibility and yeah, just keeping an eye out really. At least it gives us something to do on this uh, this passage. Do you know what it reminds me of? What? On Windows 95, well actually on Windows PC, there's a game called Minesweeper. Yeah. And you're kind of like just hitting random parts, trying not to die. And that's, that what kind of what, that's kind of what this feels like. So we're a couple hours in now and Jade's gone down. Uh, she's having her like rest time and the pots seem to have cleared up about half an hour ago. So there's a little job that has been like playing on my mind for ages. Uh, basically our spray hood, one of the little arm things had broke. So this is what had broke. So the arm was kind of in there and it had snapped and it was on here. I'll show you the other one actually. The other one's looking quite weak. So you can see how easy these things are to snap. But I noticed that we had a spare one down here. So this guy here was, was down here. So I thought I might as well just try and fix it. It wasn't particularly hard. Um, just had to un unscrew a few bits. I'd consider that an on-passage win. So I'm using my uh, rest shift 
to upload some videos. Uh, I just get really paranoid in case I lose the SD cards and then all the footage is lost. And this one that I'm doing right now has dolphins, so I don't want to lose that. Yeah, we keep totally forgetting to put the camera on when we enter marinas. <laughs> um, but that was a bit mental. Uh, we raided before we came into the marina, uh, but Marina Atlantico, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, they told us uh, we're in a space and we got to the space and it wasn't there, but I don't know if we were looking in the right place. And it was just all very confusing. Uh, but thankfully the guy came and pointed out where we've got to go and um, he come and did the lines for us. and. They actually seem really, really helpful and really lovely here. So I think Wamba's just um, pulling up as well. That's the first time I've reversed this boat that far under control. It doesn't like going into reverse, but... Did well there, did you? Yeah, did the trick, thank God. What's the plan now? Uh, we should go to the marina, say hello, and then see if we can get some gas. <laughs> Let's go. We went to the chandlery to see if we could get gas, which... The woman there is amazing and she's trying to see if she can refill our one rather than us getting camping gas this time round. And she said like there's a free gift so we can later on go to a restaurant and we can have a free drink on them. We're just going to get a coffee now, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, we were a bit parched and as you guys know we have no gas so that's no hot drinks. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 We just gotta go and take the gas bottle to this guy in the morning. Yep. And she thinks he can do it, and he'll bring it back in the afternoon. No way. Is it? Well, hopefully it isn't too too far. But that's amazing news. Yeah, I know. She's gonna text me the address now. So. Oh, brilliant. We have gas. holding up here for four not well three more nights um, there's some really big swells forecast for the next few days and unfortunately there's no protected anchorage here uh, from the conditions either so luckily we've picked the cheapest marina and it's also really lovely oh so, it's amazing uh, yeah. yeah that's costing us uh, 17 euros a night so we're staying there for three nights uh, to hold up from the weather yep before moving on again <laughs> so much for watching. We hope you'll join us again as we explore the spectacular sights that Porto has to offer, as well as saying some very difficult goodbyes to our friends over on Wombat.